So this is a short video of my little solar setup. Being in Puerto Rico, going through Hurricane Maria, leaving us without power for many months. I decided to get a little solar, make a little solar generator. I had a gas generator. But that's $23 of gas a day for almost three months. That's a lot of money. Especially when you're not working. After the disaster, so I got myself uh, this little MPBT solar charge controller. See here it's 13.64 amps at 15.7 volts. It's giving me almost uh, 200 watts. I have two golf cart batteries right here. Put it in a box. Move it. I may little invention I'm living in an apartment and then the splitter and two four connectors and going out the window we don't have a roof we don't have a backyard they don't go out because they're anchored here there and there not slip out of the window and have a little, <laughs> little ghetto extra security in there. <laughs> so right now I'm probably just a fan, charging some batteries, the charge, the camera battery, and the voltage right up there at 13 point volts says going in MPPT, MPPT mode so I got this uh, from a solar a store here called Maximo solar was uh, 139 plus tax I got this little 1500 inverter it's not pure same wave but gets the job done. Got it at Costco for $69 special. The batteries are also from Costco. Six volts golf cart batteries. They were like mm, about $98 each. Got two to make it a 12 volt. That wire was 30 feet for, I want to say, 20 $30, something like that. That was a long time ago. The connectors were 10 for one, two, three, three pairs. Like five bucks a pair. The escalators were 10. Each 100 watts of apparel was 120 at Costco. And a little while ago with full sunshine was giving uh, 205 uh, watts. So the MPBT is doing what it does. It's getting a little bit more. Usually last time I bought a uh, the Yeti that I got it with a 100 watt panel and it never gave me more than 80 watts it was a lithium uh, pretty good solar a little solar generator but after that power came back in back on 
and had to return it to the store. Sold the panel, and a few months later, I decided to get this. Hurricane season's coming up, so any little storm is gonna take out power here. Gotta be ready. Let's see what we do for getting stuff cold. I'm deciding to get a little small chest refrigerator or an ice maker, a little portable ice maker. So I'm reviewing that and see what little portable ice maker uses in, in amps and what, what's, and also a chest freezer. See which one's better to keep the food cold. So, I, I tried it out using two fans. It's kind of uh, not sure if it's gonna last all night. Not draining, don't want to drain the batteries more than 50%. So, nothing. Tell me what you think, any recommendations? set up a little messy here just finished installing the solar panels look kind of eh, not good but gets the job done especially being in a middle apartment it's kind of a three-story apartments so I'm in the middle not so none of the apartments here have access to the roof and the bottom ones that they don't have access to to the yard so this is the only way to get solar in an apartment I think this was a pretty good idea getting these solar panels out of the window hanging out they won't slip out there's no way they get stuck in here stuck there they don't have play so, thinking of adding a little crossbar, I have it around somewhere. This mess just moved here, so. Huh. Hope you like it. Yeah, you can improve on my idea, see if you have the need to get some power in your house. It's not easy being a month without electricity. <laughs> uh, anyways, see you later guys.